Kentucky has a total of 40 official symbols. And in this video, we're going to talk about every official symbol of Kentucky. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started with all 40 symbols. To start off, we're going to talk about the state seal, the first symbol of Kentucky. In 1792, Kentucky became a state, and a state seal was created. The seal depicts two men shaking hands. The words Commonwealth of Kentucky and United We Stand, Divided We Fall surround the picture. The official colors of the seal are blue and gold. The next symbol is actually part of the state seal. The Kentucky state motto, United We Stand, Divided We Fall, has been the Kentucky state motto since 1942. This phrase has been used throughout history. It is most known from Patrick Henry's last public address. It is a great motto to have and speaks to a moral commitment to each other. It is a perfect motto for Kentucky because Kentuckians show this motto time and time again when helping one another when tragedy hits. Next we have the Kentucky State Flower, the Goldenrod. It can grow up to six and a half feet tall and has small flower heads. Each flower head is yellow. The Goldenrod grows all over the United States. The Goldenrod became the official state flower in 1926. Now all three of these symbols take up the next symbol, the Kentucky State Flag. In 1928, the Kentucky flag became official. It has the Kentucky seal on a field of navy blue. The words Commonwealth of Kentucky surround it with the state motto, United We Stand, Divided We Fall. The flag has the state flower, the goldenrod, on it as well. The flag has a unique history and an adventure of its own. I bet you can make a guess on what the Kentucky State song is, and you would probably be correct. Stephen Foster wrote My Old Kentucky Home in 1852, and the song was published in 1853. However, not until 1928 did it become the official song of Kentucky. The Kentucky State Bird is another symbol that's easy to guess. The Cardinal became the official bird in 1926. It is also known as the Northern Cardinal and Red Bird. They can be found all over North America, from Canada to Guatemala. The Cardinal is also the mascot of the University of Louisville. An old wise tale is said that when you see a cardinal, it is a deceased loved one watching over you. The cardinal is also the state bird of seven states. A lesser known symbol of Kentucky is the tulip poplar, the official Kentucky tree. This tree can grow up to 192 feet tall. That's tall. And it is found all over North America. The tulip poplar became the official state tree in 1994. When someone mentions Kentucky, the first thing that pops into someone's mind is horses. And Kentucky has a state horse. And no surprise, it's a thoroughbred. In 1996, the thoroughbred was named the official horse of Kentucky. Thoroughbreds are considered hot-blooded horses, known for their agility and speed. Kentucky is known for horse racing, and many thoroughbred farms are in the state. Did you know Kentucky has a state insect? The honeybee is a worldwide species, but it's also the state insect of Kentucky. Honeybees make honey, and honey tastes great, so this is an easy one to get behind. The honeybee became the official state insect in 2010. The official Kentucky sports car. In 2010, the Chevrolet Corvette was named the sports car of Kentucky. Why, you might ask? Corvettes are made right here in Kentucky, in the Corvette factory in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The Kentucky State Butterfly is the Viceroy Butterfly. The Viceroy Butterfly became official in 1990. It is a North American butterfly. It has orange and black wings and looks a lot like a monarch butterfly. But it's not one. The size of the butterfly is between 35 to 81 millimeters. The state wild animal game species is the gray squirrel. Squirrel! The gray squirrel was given this honor in 1968. It's a tree squirrel, which what squirrel isn't? <laughs> It is a native to North America and loves to run out in front of cars, scaring the drivers to death. And the last Kentucky animal symbol is the state fish, the Kentucky spotted bass. This fish has been caught by many anglers throughout the year. It is often mistaken for the largemouth bass because of its appearance, so keep reeling in the Kentucky spotted bass. The bass became official in 1956. Moving on to some Kentucky state foods. 
the state fruit is the blackberry. And who really has a blackberry these days? It became official in 2004. And can you argue about this one? With all the things you can make with blackberries. Blackberry pie, blackberry cobbler, blackberry cheesecake, blackberry jam. Even blackberry yogurt is good. And of course, you can eat them straight too. They're delicious. Now here's the big surprise. Kentucky's state drink is not bourbon. It's milk. A bit of a shocker, but milk makes the body grow. Milk is great in your cereal with cornbread and dipping your Oreos in. Milk became the official drink of Kentucky in 2005. Keeping with drinks and moving on to bourbon, Kentucky does have a state bourbon festival. The state bourbon festival is the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, which is held in the bourbon capital of the world, Bardstown, Kentucky. The festival began in 1991. The festival features many different types of bourbon and is held every September. It was granted its official status in 2000. Another official festival is the State Honey Festival, which is the Clarkson Honey Fest. It is held yearly and began in 1995. With close ties to the beekeeping industry, the festival was created and has become a staple for the local community and the bee community with thousands of visitors and became official in 2006. Now on to another type of symbols that can be really hard. The Kentucky State Rock is the Kentucky Agate. It became the official rock in 2000. The agate has a lot of colors and was formed in volcanic and metamorphic rocks. Everyone likes a good gemstone, and Kentucky has an official one. The freshwater pearl takes this honor. A pearl is hard, and it can be found in many places. Obviously, these freshwater pearls are found in fresh water. It became official in 1986. The state fossil is an old one, and known as the brachiopod. There are two types of brachiopod, articulate and inarticulate. It became official in 1986. The state soil is cedar soil series. Cedar soil is a very deep, well-drained, moderately permeable soil on uplands. Kentucky has a lot of high ground, so it makes sense. It's a very good soil that helps produce great crops and is ideal for farming. This honor was dug up in 1990. The last state symbol of Kentucky is one thing that many people think about when they hear Kentucky and that's the Kentucky State Mineral. This one should be easy to guess. Coal became the Kentucky State Mineral in 1998. Since coal began to be mined in Kentucky, there has been a total of 8.16 billion tons of coal produced in Kentucky, with this amount peaking in 1990. Eastern Kentucky is most known with 5.78 billion tons of coal produced, but Western Kentucky also produced 2.38 billion tons of coal. Over time, the demand of coal has decreased, but its connection to Kentucky and Kentucky's history remains. The state musical instrument is the Appalachian dulcimer. Now, if you're like me and many other students of Kentucky, in elementary school, we had classes focused on these instruments that hung on the walls. The dulcimer has some really cool nicknames, like hog fiddle, music box, mountain zither. It belongs in the string instrument family and is picked. The history of the dulcimer is old. Scotch-Irish immigrants use the instrument a lot. It can be dated back to the 1700s. The Appalachian dulcimer became the official state musical instrument in 2001. The next symbol is easy. What do you think the state music of Kentucky would be? If you guessed the most obvious, bluegrass, you're correct. Bluegrass music became the official state music in 2007. This one makes more sense than most symbols. Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass, and his band, the Bluegrass Boys, created the music style in the 1940s. It features acoustic stringed instruments. Before it was called bluegrass music, it was called old time mountain hillbilly music. The term bluegrass music came around in the 1960s. Keeping with the official state music, Kentucky also has an official state bluegrass song. And interestingly enough, it was adopted in 1988 before bluegrass music became official. In 1988, Blue Moon of Kentucky became the official bluegrass song of Kentucky. It was written in 1945 by the father of bluegrass himself, 
Phil Monroe. The song has been covered by Elvis Presley and Paul McCartney. The song was one of 50 recordings to be added to the Library of Congress National Recording Registry. Now we have all this music, so we're going to have to dance to it. The official Kentucky State dance is clogging. It's a type of folk dance where the dancer dances with footwear that helps emphasize downbeats with the dancers using their heel and toe. Clogging requires certain types of shoes to help make the beat. Clogging is different from tap dancing because in clogging, the dancer does not move their upper body as much. Shuffle clogging is the most common type of clogging used in bluegrass music. Clogging has also had different names throughout the years. Foot stomping, buck dancing, and jigging. Clogging became the official dance in 2006. Here's us a unique musical symbol of Kentucky, the official pipe band. In 2000, the Louisville Pipe Band became the official pipe band of Kentucky. It was officially organized in 1988. The pipe band is competitive and offers lessons for people of all ages. The band wears this ancient Henderson pattern kilt. The pattern has a historical meaning because it represents the relationship between Daniel Boone and Richard Henderson. Adding more pipes to the list, Kentucky has a state theater pipe organ. The Kentucky Theater's Mighty Wurlitzer Theater Pipe Organ became official in 2005. The organ was installed in 1926. It is one of only a few Wurlitzer organs that are in good condition. With all this good music and bands, you have to have somewhere to play. The official Kentucky Amphitheater is the Iroquois Amphitheater located in the Iroquois Park in Louisville. The amphitheater was built in 1938 with WPA funding. In 2000, the amphitheater was renovated and still gives locals an abundant amount of entertainment. It holds 2,400 people and hosts many concerts and festivals throughout the year. The Iroquois Amphitheater became official in 2001. The State Outdoor Musical, The Stephen Foster Story. In 2002, The Stephen Foster Story became the official outdoor musical of Kentucky. It is a Broadway-style musical that focuses on the life of Stephen Foster. You can watch this musical at the J. Dan Talbot Amphitheater at my old Kentucky home state park in Bardstown. The musical started in 1959 and has entertained thousands of guests. The musical was written by Paul Green. Kentucky has a state silverware pattern. And effective on July 15, 1996, Old Kentucky Bluegrass, the Georgetown pattern, became the official silverware pattern of Kentucky. It is named and designated as the official state silverware pattern. As for what the pattern is, and after many hours searching for it on the internet, this is the best we were able to determine. And as you notice, there really isn't a pattern at all. I assume it is the end of the handle that makes the pattern different from other silverware. If you're a silverware expert, let us know if we've got this right in the comments. Moving on to a more reasonable symbol. Kentucky has an official steam locomotive. I guess it's reasonable. Old 152 was built in 1905 by Rogers Locomotive Works. The Louisville and Nashville Railroad purchased the locomotive for $13,406. Old 152 traveled in Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and Kentucky for many years. It carried a lot of famous people including President Theodore Roosevelt and Al Capone. The locomotive was donated to the Kentucky Railway Museum and you can visit Old 152 at the Kentucky Railway Museum in New Haven, Kentucky. It has been used on various projects since it was donated to the museum and it's on the National Registry. Old 152 became the official steam locomotive of Kentucky in 2000. Our next symbol is the covered bridge capital of Kentucky. A covered bridge is a wooden bridge with a roof, decking, and siding. The purpose of these bridges is simple, to keep the bridge covered. A covered bridge will increase a bridge's life by decades from 20 years to 100 years. The United States and Kentucky had thousands of covered bridges at one point. Now Kentucky only has 11. But in 1998, Fleming County was named the Covered Bridge Capital of Kentucky. To keep with the Covered Bridge trend, the official Covered Bridge of Kentucky is the Switzer Covered Bridge, located in Franklin County. 
It was built by George Hunkersmith around 1855. The bridge is 120 feet long, 11 feet wide, and a howl truss design. It has sawtooth edges and was rebuilt in 1998. You cannot drive on it today, but you can still visit the bridge. It became the covered bridge of Kentucky in 1998. No surprise here, but English is the official language of Kentucky. But maybe we should add a twist to it and label it Kentucky English, because R and R are two different words. It became official in 1984. The state arboretum is the Burnham Arboretum and Research Forest. It was founded in 1929 by Isaac Wolf Burnham, a German immigrant. He bought the land for $1 an acre. The park opened in 1950. Burnham and his family are buried in the forest. It was named the official arboretum in 1994. It is located in Claremont, Kentucky, and can be visited today. Sticking with outside places, the state has an official botanical garden. In 2000, the University of Kentucky Arboretum became the official state botanical garden. It's 100 acres located in Lexington, Kentucky. The garden contains many different plant species and walking trails. Another great place to learn is the Louisville Science Center which in 2002 became the official state science center. Also known as the Kentucky Science Center, it is located on Museum Row in Louisville. It has about 550,000 visitors annually. The building that houses the science center was built in 1878. The official center for celebration of African American heritage is the Kentucky Center for African American Heritage. The building is located in Louisville on 18th Street. In 1994, the African American Heritage Foundation began preserving historical African American sites. These were the first steps that led to the Center for Celebration of African American Heritage. The campus is on the site of the historical Louisville Street Railway Complex. When visiting the center, you can enjoy the great value African American heritage has given to the state. The Kentucky Center for African American Heritage became official in 2002. And our last Kentucky symbol for this video is the State Tug of War Championship. I know, where did we come up with that one? Needless to say, the official State Tug of War Championship takes place at the Fordsville Tug of War Championship, which is held in Fordsville, Ohio County. It became official in 1990. A little bit about Tug of War, the origins of the contest are unknown. However, it was practiced in ancient Egypt and China. So it's an old sport. The last official symbol of Kentucky is the official Latin motto. Not sure why we have one, but we have one. And it is as follows. Degradium habemus, which translates to let us be grateful to God. The motto was adopted in 2002. So there you have it, all 40 official Kentucky symbols. If you were wondering, the Kentucky General Assembly votes on official symbols of Kentucky. If you'd like to support our channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod or become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms and this channel for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.